god morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady i don't even know where to begin i'm not on school run as you can see the time is 10 past 10 i haven't even had my breakfast um we had we had an explosion this morning um at quarter to eight this morning well about half past seven quarter to eight this morning i was just about to get out of bed and james walked through the hallway with a can of coke in his hand that he was taking to school it wasn't open and he dropped it and he dropped it and it like exploded so like the lid so well the can ring pull thing slightly opened and the pressure of the can dropping made the drink force upwards and it went everywhere let me show you right so as you can see we're just trying to soak up where it fell so the coke went all over the floor all over this door all over that door all over that door all over there um, all over those two carpets there all over my coats that were hanging in the hall here so it went all over my coats my coats now in the washing machine all over Ruby's shoes um, all over this wallpaper here and it has marked it if you can see that there um, and there is some other little stains on the wall as well and obviously this wallpaper is new oh dear they're very faint little marks so I'm hoping they'll dry out eventually um, and the carpet as you can see is completely stained uh, we have obviously sort of wet it and my husband's got like um, a wet a wet vac thing so we've sort of washed it over but we've put the kitchen roll down to try and get it to dry out but it's still stained at the minute so I don't know whether we're gonna have to try and clean it again or whether it will dry out I don't know because this is all wet oh god it's just what a morning so my father-in-law took ruby to school we're going to get ruby ready jane went to school me and my hubby spent an hour cleaning this and now we're just waiting for it to dry out so what a morning <laughs> you couldn't write it honestly I, I didn't film it because we were just in too much of a mess so yeah so this is drying out and we'll see <clears throat> we'll see what happens as the day pans on but it's not looking good, is it, so far? Oh, dear. Right, first job of the day, I think, is to get these hens finished. Um, obviously, we did those ones yesterday and those two. So, we really need to get these finished so we can get them posted off. What about some stringy hair? <laughs> you wouldn't think that was string, would you? Stringy hair. Right, so that's the string cut out for my legs. <sighs> Got two left to do. I love this one. It's so pretty. And then we've got a little flower on, so we've nearly done. I'm a bit bored now and I want to go outside. <sighs> it's 10 past 11. I still haven't finished my other two, but I've decided to come down and have a coffee. I think I need one. Coffee down there, are you? Is that your comfy down there? Oh, have I woke you up? I'm sorry. So I've hung some washing out. I'm just listening to the birds. I think they're up in that tree. They make some really lovely noises. I love bird song. It's so therapeutic. Right, there's my cup of coffee. And today's mug is The Wonderful Man, in honour of James, the wonderful man who's ruined my whole carpet and thrown coke everywhere. Yay, well done Mr James, the wonderful man. Oh, last one, yay, I feel like I've been making hens forever. So I'll get the last one done and then I'll show you them all. Today is just one of those days. My mum's just rung me up and her little car has broken down and my husband's gone miles away and we're now trying to sort out how to help her. So, oh God, what is it today? We've had a power cut as well since I've been sewing, but the power has come back on, but we've had a power cut. Oh my God, today's just, I'm surprised it's not Friday the 13th. Right, here's a guided tour of my chickens that I've made. Oh, I'm worried about my poor mum now. I hope she's alright. I've tried to ring her back, but she must be on the phone to the RAC, I think. Right, so, guided tour. Dun, 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 dun. I love them. I love them when there's loads. I think they look so cute together. I'm very proud to have made all these little chickens. I now need to find a box to put them all in. So that's them one way. And then let's go back the other way. Dun, dun, dun. 
they smell so lovely. Can't beat a bit of French lavender, it's so nice. And that's all the lovely chickens. I've just dropped my pineapple. I give up today. I do, honestly. I've dropped my pineapple and broke it. So, luckily, I can still glue it back on. Um, but it's like knocked the little top bit off it. Oh, I give up today. Oh, dearie me. Right, we've made it in the car. There's my little car in front. That's it. So, I've been blocked in again. I give up, honestly. And I can't be bothered to move one car to get to another car. So... We're just going to nip out of my hubby's car, so we're just nipping to the post office to post my chickens, so off we go! I've had to go to the shop as well because I went home, realised I didn't have any bacon to make my shepherd's pie with, so I've had to nip to the shop and get some bacon. But to use your debit card, you have to spend over £5, so I've also fetched some milk and a scratch card. Let's hope we can make today a bit more lucky. Right, let's crack on with this shepherd's pie. So I've peeled the potatoes, um, so I'm going to get them boiling, and then we've got mince, mushrooms, I'm going to put some onion, um, a bit of Worcester sauce, salt and pepper, a bit of chopped up bacon and then cook all that together. Uh, right, so let's crack on. Right, so I'm just chopping my bacon up but I always chop the fat off my bacon um, before I chop it up and put it in the pan because obviously you're trying to be a little bit healthy so if you're adding fat from your bacon that really won't do. So um, there's eight slices of bacon in this pack. I'll probably put uh, I could put all of it in but I'm not sure whether I need to or not because I might see if there's enough to do my mama portion of this shepherd's pie as well so we'll see how it goes as it starts to cook because sometimes when you're cooking it it like it seems to shrink <laughs> um, I don't know why so I just get my scissors and I just chop all the fat off look there's an awful lot of fat on this bacon there's loads look it is nice when it's cooked, but trying to be healthy. Right, so we'll crack on. It's starting to come together nicely. So we've got the mince, bacon, mushrooms, onion, and then I'm gonna make a little bit of stock, beef stock to pour in it. And then I'm gonna fry it till it's all browned, and then I'll put the stock in, and then I'll do it on the hob for about 20 minutes simmering. Right, it's about sort of browned off. A bit like how I feel today. <laughs> Um, so I've got three quarters of beef stock, so I'm going to pour this in. I've just spoken to my poor mum, she's still waiting for the RAC. Bless her, I feel awful thinking my mum's sat at the side of the road, but she is somewhere not very busy, so I'm sure she'll be alright. Right, so we've poured that in, and now I'm just going to let it simmer on the hob for about 15-20 minutes, just to make sure it's all nicely cooked. And then I should put it into my pan ready for going into the oven. So, and then we'll mash the potato and put potato over the top. Right, so I've just hung some more washing out. So dinner's underway, uh, washing's hung out. So I might actually be able to get some lunch now. It's nearly half past one, so oh, we're running so late. Right, there's my dinner, so I'm having a quick dinner so that I can carry on doing my shepherd's pie. So I've got mackerel in olive oil and some little tomatoes. So I'll have to enjoy my quick dinner. Right. right, so everything's kind of done. So I've got some little tinned carrots that I'm just putting at the bottom of my pan. And then I'm going to put my meat mixture in t on top of the carrots and then put mashed potato on the top. My poor mum is still waiting for the RAC. Can you believe it? Don't go with the RAC. My husband said they'd got really bad reviews and obviously it's true. I don't think they've got enough vehicles to cover the area. So, oh, my poor mum, it's now nearly half past two and I think my mum's been sat there since about, what, 11, half past 11? And they told her they'd be there before two. Now she spoke, rung them again and they said it might be between three and four. My poor mum. She's stuck in a little village on her own. So me and my hubby are trying to see if we can sort something out. Because obviously my husband's got a recovery truck. But he's been miles away to collect a car. So he's trying to weigh up whereabouts he is in relation to my mum. And it's like... And then I've got to pick Ruby up from school soon. So I kind of can't help. And I've got to get tea ready for James because he's going to work. And it's like... Oh my God. Today's been so horrible. Right. I've got my scratch card. So let's see if we have any luck on this. Um... 
it's quite a complicated one so I've got to work out what I've got to do so I'll let you know in a minute if we win I won! Woo! I've won my money back, that's all. So I've got one letter, one word there. Uh, where's my other word? I've got one word down there. And then I've got one word across there. So if you get three words, you get three pounds. So we've won three pounds. So that's how much it costs. So I got my money back. The shepherd pie is done. But I've got to leave it in the oven because I've got to go and get Ruby from school. Right, we've made it into the car. Ooh, so at least my dinner's done anyway. That's one thing for today. But what a day. Oh dear. So we're on route to go and fetch little Ruby from school. The sun is shining this way. I've left all my sheets and stuff on the washing line because I've washed Ruby's bed. And there's a massive rain cloud that way, which is back home. Ooh, I didn't have time to bring it in. So I'm just hoping it doesn't rain. Please don't rain. It won't be fair if it rained, would it? <laughs> I've had enough bad luck today. So fingers crossed um, it doesn't rain and my sheets will be nice and dry and then we can bring them in when we get back. Fingers crossed. And I'm also hoping we get somewhere to park. And I'm also hoping that the RAC will pick my mum up very soon because my husband's coming back to my house to drop one off and then he's going to go back and rescue her if they haven't come. My poor mum, I feel so sorry for her. So, right, so let's get our little jobs done. So let's go and get Ruby. We've got some relaxing music on the radio. <laughs> let's go. We've made it and we're here early. So we've got space, thank goodness, but we've now got to sit here for 20 minutes. So oh, I hope 20 minutes goes fast today for once. Just sat watching the wheel go by. You can't believe how noisy Winnie is. She's making me go to sleep. Can you hear? Winnie, you're so noisy. <laughs> Lovely shepherd's pie doled up. Mmm, shepherd's pie. Right, there's the little dinner that I've doled up. And luckily, I've done my mum a dinner because my husband has actually gone to fetch my mum. The RAC never arrived. Can you believe it? My mum's been with them for about 30 years and they never collected her. So, uh, obviously, a letter of complaint will be going in. Um, but anyway, so my husband's picked her up. I think they're going to come back in after tea and then he's going to take her home because he's got to go back that way anyway. So, I'm just waiting for my mum to come for some tea. Still waiting for them to arrive. So, I've decided to eat my tea so that I can make more drink and everything when they get here. Because they're not going to have long before they've got to leave again. Right, here's my mother. Quick, give us a quick review of the RAC. Rubbish, <laughs> absolute rubbish. Five hours sitting on my bottom yeah. waiting and they never turned no. up. So I'm going to go, <laughs> no, very disappointed. So she's had a quick dinner. Was your dinner nice? Oh, it was delicious, yes. And now she's got to go because my hubby's taking her home. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Flying nice. visit. Nice and shining on. Right, that's my little mum gone home, bless her. So it was only a really, really quick flying visit. So I've been waiting for my tea to go down. So I've done my Tesco food shopping, ready for delivery tomorrow. So we're in my little conservatory. So that can only mean one thing. I'm going on my cross trainer. <laughs>
Calories. I would have stayed on it longer, but I need to have a bath and I want to watch something on Teddy Ruby, so I've had to limit myself tonight. So let's get in the bath. I'm all nice and clean now and feel a lot better after doing my exercises and having a nice bath. So just made myself a nice cup of tea in my Houston mug. Thank you, Alison, for sending me this mug. I love it so much. Right, it is. Final little vlog of the day. Thank you so much for watching and sharing my little day in England. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, it's been a bit of a a moany day today there's been an awful lot of things gone wrong obviously we had the coke all over the carpet and the walls and the wallpaper and everything then we had my poor mum broke down then i had my broken pineapple and don't forget if you're with the rac just be wary if you do break down like my poor mum did obviously they left her for like five hours and never picked her up so just be wary if you're with the RAC perhaps think twice when it comes to your renewal maybe go with the AA because my husband's broke down with the AA before quite a few times even in his recovery truck and they've still come and fetched him so just be aware because my mum and dad were with the RAC for about 30 odd years and that's a long time and they've only ever used them probably once before years ago so very bad customer service RAC my poor little mum she's in her 70s believe it or not and you know sat there all down her own with no food no drink no toilet nothing it is terrible so RAC you suck <laughs> AA from now on my dears AA um anyway my dears so thank you very much for joining my little day if you do enjoy life in England daily vlogs handbags or whatever else we get up to then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady so we'll love you and leave you and we'll speak to you tomorrow because me and Ruby are going to watch what's it called yeah glow up which is a makeup program on bbc one and we love it it's really really good so off to watch makeup program so we'll speak to you tomorrow bye